Great night of action here in we Newport have Richie. This evening, including our main event, which is a bunkhouse. Anything goes battle royale. Right now, without further ado, let's get straight to action. I am Sly Sai Steven. And I am joined by the legendary Ron Nimi. We're getting ready for our opening contest. Welcome. We're gonna have to learn the cadence of this ring announcer, or he's gonna have to learn ours. Either what an atmosphere right. here tonight, man. This place is packed. Returning better together, returning most recently on a recent episode of WWN Proving Ground, teaming with the German madman Krieger. Ron, I don't have to tell you why this is an ironic duo, or trio, I should say. Not popular to say the least, but not only returning, but returning from Israel. These guys had to get their work visas back in order, had to spend time in their home country, and I'd love to say I'm excited they're back, but you want to talk about unlikable. But talent here in the Pasco County area, better together is definitely not a favorite team. And with the German madman Krieger by their side, they're going to have a hard time getting this crowd behind them. Uh, like this team is in dangerous enough already, but adding Krieger as a third man of this team, I can guarantee you these three have plans of only doing one thing, and that's walking out of here as the victors tonight. Absolutely. But they have a mighty test ahead of them with their opponents this evening. Let's go to Michael James for that introduction. Oh, this is cool. Look at little Jay with his beautiful little daughter. You gotta love that ring gear she's wearing. Crowd going wild for these three. Bagpipes, pageantry, firemen. Nick Kionis representing the United States of America. Hey, I'm from the United States of America. I love that place. Hey, so am I. But who's not from the United States are their opponents. All three of them foreigners. I wonder how that's going to play out. Total disrespect from the three shown on so many occasions for the good old United States of America. I seen my old buddy Dave Penzer walking around earlier. That's not a good sign. We Trouble only follows where Dave Penzer is. So many of the Florida wrestling legends here in attendance today amongst the capacity crowd here in Newport, Richie. Yeah, I've, I've got friends that I haven't seen literally in over 20-something years. Jumbo Beretta, one of the first wrestlers I managed in 1991, is in the crowd here tonight. Unbelievable, but tonight, right now, we have an incredible opening contest. Uh, dare I say, a tag team extravaganza, to quote our friend Larry Legend. Extravaganza, indeed, and any time you can drop a line from my buddy, the man himself, the best in the business, Larry Legend. I'm gonna see him next Saturday in Newark for XBW. Hey, you tell him I say hi. Absolutely. Larry's the best. Sure, he's busy as always, but man, I'm happy to be here tonight. Newport Richie only takes me 45 minutes to get over from Wesley Chapel, get in front of a packed crowd like this. And they're into it already. Oh yeah, they're Newport Richie fans. You want to talk about spoiled? How many wrestling shows can such a small town host over such a long period of time? Florida is so rich in professional wrestling history, and Pasco County is where it's at. 
Pasco County, rich in history, usually being known for being on a, at pretty much every episode of Live PD and many appearances on Cops, usually for all the wrong reasons, I might add. Uh, right now, we have a, a bit of a celebration, uh, maybe a, a premature celebration by Better Together. They're uh, hugging each other. Yeah, they're already celebrating a victory of a match that hasn't even started yet. Look, veteran referee Chuck Horn in the ring. Another one of my old buddies. This guy, you want to talk about somebody that's seen it all. For certain, he's going to be the one to keep the order in that match. And there's our opening bell, and this one's underway. Yeah, good luck keep it, even with Chuck being in the ring. You talk about keeping order. Good luck. He must have drew the, the short straw to be assigned this match. Is that a joke uh, because of Little Jay's in the ring? Yeah, unbelievable. Little Jay, I'm going to tell you, good things come in small packages, and this guy is as dangerous as it gets, but never seen him in those, those shiny gold pants. And listen to these people. Yeah. Chanting USA, they are trying to get under the skin. Big shoulder tackle. You don't want to mess with a guy like Nicholas Quinones. He'll take you down. It's like a running brick wall. And there. Double. If takes one wasn't enough, a double shoulder tackle. Takes them both down. What an athlete. I've been known my whole life for being an athletic supporter, but that's a story for another time. Using his... Krieger. Jay is a weapon, a battering ram of sorts. Better to together. Oh hey. my goodness. Better together and Krieger need to keep their head on the swivel. They're not going to be able to keep up with the offense of Nicholas Quinones, the swashbuckler. And Little Jay. Tampa Bay, if there's one, one city that welcomes swashbucklers and pirates, you're in it. That's we, for sure. We may be in Pasco County, but they still love their Buccaneers. Lil J getting the crowd going as uh, better together and regrouping on the outside, but Ori goes back in the ring. Big forearms by Lil J. Lighten up Gold who reverses the Irish whip and sends him in. Jay taking it all in the small of the back. And Lil J might be small, but he is mighty. We say this all the time every Friday night on Proving Ground. He's not easy to move around. Despite his size, he's pretty dense. Oh, he's got just a solid base. Oh, so much for that base with that beautiful drop kick. Just sending Jay flying across the ring. I don't care what kind of base you have. When you get kicked straight in the face like that, oh. that could take anyone down. You know, here in Newport Richie, when a dog walks by that I could easily ride across. Look at the size of that monster over there. Oh, I, I hope he's he... friendly. Oh, he just bought a couple raffle tickets. He's okay in my book. Krieger making the tag. Better together, just coming back fresh. I'd like to say from that tour of Israel, but they really weren't in a hurry to go home, but they had to, to legally be able to return to the States to work. And now they're here, and they're going to make a tear out of every tag division they're a part of, especially the one here in WWN. Hey, WWN understands when they have talent, especially international talent, like Better Together on, on their hands. They did everything they could to oh, help what facilitate. Is this? Come on now. Enough with the pageantry. Oh, no. A little bit of their own medicine as they use Krieger for the assist and stomping two boots straight into Little J. Like my grandpa Mudbox would say, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. What is a gander anyway? It's something like a goose from what I understand. <laughs> Big stomp by Krieger. Look at the confidence. I was talking to him. Well, I, was gonna, I was trying to talk to him earlier tonight. And this guy's just nasty. He's mean, but he's determined. He's focused. Krieger has been on a bit of a tear here in WWN, most recently losing a very bitter rivalry with Nicholas Quinones, who's on the opposite end of the ring tonight. As those proving ground shows, not only are they entertaining and a great chance to see up and comers when they're just really getting going in their career, there's a lot of bad blood between the talent that shows up and puts in the work every Friday night. It's a pecking order. They know what a victory can do. They know what a championship can do. Absolutely, Krieger and Nicholas Quinones just finished a chapter in their rivalry in the most dreaded match of all, the boot camp match. No, absolutely. say it isn't so. Nicholas Quinones came out victorious in that match, but it looks like we're not done because they're facing off tonight. Hey, you want to talk about one of the most bloodiest matches in history, go back to 83, the Iron Sheik versus Sergeant Slaughter boot camp match. Literally a slaughterhouse. There's Hold Little Jay with a flurry of all big tag to the swashbuckler. Oh, he's on fire. The crowd is on their feet right now. Clothesline for everybody. 
Unloading. Swing and a miss. Dumps under. A big miss. Buckler. Look at it. Hold on a second. Oh, Trent Edwards, what's he gonna do here? Yes! I know I'm supposed to be unpartial, but come on. Takes them both out. That was an impressive move. We call it as we see it here. Beautiful. WWE. Done. Hey, you know you're at a big show when the Dark Lord of the Sith, Dark Vader, happens to be in attendance looking. I think he's trying to use some Jedi mind tricks. I just can't I can't tell who he's trying to use it on in the ring. I'm not I'm positive even here in Newport Ritchie, that's not legal. I don't know if there's anyone in this match that can uh, be fooled by any Jedi mind tricks. Look at these two. Just bringing just heavy artillery. Throwing the right. Up and over, a little too early. Krieger still goes through. Right into that spear, this could be it. Big takedown, let's see if he can follow up. Krieger smart, wisely rolling to the outside. That's, that, some of these guys you can look and just mentally, Krieger's one of those that's starting to think like a veteran. Oh, He's, Quinones, I better together better pay attention. Big double clothesline. Krieger back in. Swinging at Quinones. Oh, what's he going for here? Bit of an air raid crash right there. That's gotta be it, he's just too close to the ropes. I see what's going on here. Little Jay getting some oh my added God. height by going to that he's top rope. He's in a parachute. This could end badly. No! Oh my God, little Squashing Krieger like a great double spear. Oh my goodness. He's got him. Got the victory. Big opportunity. The challenger knows he could make history here tonight. So many great champions in the lineage of that ACW Cruiserweight Championship. that big fight feel. Gonna get those championship ring introductions. Hello there, friend. Hey, Daniel Starling, you wanna talk about talent. This guy's starting to get an incredible amount of buzz nationwide. You pick up a victory, especially a title win over Daniel Starling, I'm here to tell you, you're well on your way. Little 
surprise. You know, these guys are not rookies, but very early in their career, but just nerves of steel. These guys don't crack. This, again, this is a big, big show for many of the biggest that they've appeared on. And this crowd, again, spoiled for years, they expect the best of the best. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger, Sandy to my left, P.L. Trumanfera, weighing in at 100, and running behind Pete, his opponent of pro wrestling, the Metro Plucky, Drake Oh yeah, he's fired up. How about our buddy, the ring announcer, Jim, really moving up, too. He's going to be debuting at FYP on su next Sunday over at the OCC. Yes. Yeah, he's earned it. This guy, he puts in as much work at the school. Hey, the, your first American boy boyfriend, Billy Grace, in the building. That could be either be good or, well, we'll talk about that later. Well, there's so much opportunity for the young talent to get every single Friday night to have those Proving Ground shows and several good schools located throughout Florida, but the WWN training facility, I mean, it, it just doesn't get any better than that. And also, right here in Newport Ritchie, and you never know who's gonna say, hold on, this could be quick. Referee a little out of position there, but I didn't expect it. Yeah, referee's gonna have to be on his toes. This one, these guys obviously not working on the clock. They could pick up a quick victory. Go to that pay window a little early. Little psychological warfare, a little bit of disrespect going on there. But you again, you can, the energy is just infectious. You know, you, 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 can, you can feel it all the way back here. I've caught a lot of things that were infectious in the past and penicillin took care of that, but I don't think that's gonna help tonight. Yeah, he's unbelievably athletic. Oh, just draws him in. Kind of like a matador with that. Oh, the most dangerous part of the ring. That ring apron sends him into the steel turnpost. Sends his head crashing into it now on the outside, wrapping that arm. That'll dislocate a shoulder, trust me, I know. Hey, the champ, you know he's done his research. Probably got a bullseye right on that shoulder and arm, and I gotta agree with you, it's gotta be for a reason. This isn't just some random attack. Hey, and for the people at home wondering why I have this melodic, some say angelic voice, it's Jolly Ranchers, who I've been trying to get as a sponsor unsuccessfully for about five years now, but why give up now? Please, help yourself. Oh! But is that attitude, is that something that offends you, or is that something that you'd agree? You gotta do what it takes to pick up the victory, to defend that championship. You know, you don't have to break the rules, but maybe severely bend them every now and then. If they happen to break, you weren't trying to, you were just trying to bend them. Rules a little bit when we're aggressive, but, you know, Tyler Riot not doing anything wrong at the moment. Got that, 
that new champion attitude, but gets a jawbreaker for his trouble. European swing and a miss. Beautiful suplex. That could be it right there. Hey, I like the presence of mind to hook the leg. Not taking any lateral press for granted. Great Xavier kicked out at about two and a half there. If this onslaught keeps up, this match isn't gonna last much longer. You gotta wonder with the heat and the humidity, is that coming into play where do you try to end the match quicker? I mean, sure I have perfect cardiovascular conditioning. Of course you do. I know what you're thinking. Of course. But I don't know about these guys. Do you try to end the, oh my God. Right, right on, on his head. God. If, that one stunned me. If Greg Xavier can capitalize on this, he could take the victory, but he's got to get up. Yeah, you can't, can't cover the guy when you're laying on your back, but he's taken some incredible punishment. The referee checking closely, starts to count. What's very impressive is that Drake Xavier had that discus clothesline that Tyler Uriah is known for, well scouted. Oh yeah, good luck if that connects. It's over. It's over if it connects. He's won many a matches with that discus clothesline. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh! Beautiful leg lariat. Big back elbow. Flurry of offense by Drake Xavier here. I think he gave him a Polish hammer to the shoulder. Ivan Putski would be proud. Scott Putski, I'm not sure. Side oh, Salto yes. suplex and a nip up. Drake Xavier's feeling it. I like what I see. I'm gonna tell you, it's hot in this building. That, that bandana the rest wearing is starting to look like a really good idea. Oh! Good Lord! And the crowd explodes after that sent on in the corner. This is it right here. That close. Just barely getting that shoulder up. Drake Xavier, I think he smells it. I think he knows what's up. The crowd can't believe what they're seeing here. And it was so two and seven eighths. It had to be that close. Something, uh, something like that. Reversal, jumps over the rope, and nimble. That agility. Beautiful forearm. Lights him up through the ropes, but he's caught! DDT, look at his carcass, and that's exactly what his body is right now. I think that's it. Foot on the ropes. Uh, some people might say that's the cheap way out, but... No. Some might call it desperation. I'd call it smart. Either which way, Drake Xavier is still in it, so you gotta give him credit. Any lifeline that you... He can't phone a friend. That's not gonna do anything. Exactly, it's not like a tag team match where you have a partner you can rely on. It's him and only him. Hey, I remember those no rope break matches back in the days of Evolve. It was really cool to see the mindset and psychology of the competitors when they knew. And then as the match would go, they'd start forgetting and just by instinct, they would reach for those ropes. Again, going for that distance oh. clothesline. Great Xavier, whoa, what How a about the upper body strength, beautiful. Come on. Almost. Drake Xavier cannot get frustrated. He cannot let this get under his skin. He needs to focus. He's right there. Yeah, he just needs to frustrated. capitalize. You're exactly right. Don't get frustrated. Stay with the game plan, even if you're making it up on the fly. Drake Xavier looks like he's going to familiar territory up to that top rope. Let's see what oh. he does. Right onto those knees. That'll destroy your wrist. That's why they call it high risk. Oh, there it is, God. the heavenly discus clothesline. That's got to be it. Let's get our official word. How about that for the first championship match? You said there's going to be four? Unbelievable. Oh, first of four championship matches, Tyler Uriah had an incredibly tough time putting away Drake Xavier. I'm sure Drake Xavier is gonna challenge for that championship down the line. How am I supposed to get through three more championship matches and then everything else in between? We got a long night ahead of us, Ron, I'm, I'm telling you right now. I'm a 53 year old man. Sal didn't give me my oxygen that I had on the rider. I don't, don't see worry. it. Don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna Thank carry you through this whole thing. Oh, don't worry about it. I was worried. But who's carrying the title home is Tyler Uriah and Drake Xavier. Hey, I'm impressed. That's a champion that, this guy is a fighting, worthy, defending champion. And what, what a match with this kid. He might be worse for wear, but hey. I think he earned the respect of everyone here in Newport, Richie. Hey, he had nothing to lose. He may not be walking out with the belt, but as you said, that isn't the last time that we're gonna see this young man 
get a shot at that title. Look at it. What a great crowd here today. Another tag team with Stravaganza tonight. Oh, I am very familiar with that music, Ron Nimi. That can only mean one thing. The Set Incorporated. Ron, I gotta ask you a question. I don't know the answer to this. Maybe you do. What in the world is a Supreme Fashim? Did he call himself the master of the pile driver too? He's a man of many nicknames. As you know, Francisco Piazzo, world travel. He's been doing this for a number of years and now he's got Rafael Delgado under his wing in the set incorporated. I've got a lot of problems, a lot of problems with Francisco Piazzo. But the biggest problem is he's one of those guys that refers to spaghetti sauce as gravy. Unacceptable. I usually don't talk that harshly about people, but it's just completely out of line. The atmosphere here, we're all worked up. I understand where you're coming from. Delgado really making big strides. I am in love with this tag team for one reason and one reason only. You don't see very often a father and son duo. And I'm really happy to see the son here tonight because last time I see him compete, man, he, I don't, I really don't know how he walked out of the building where he, back of his head, the back of his neck, just horrible, horrible. It was a, I don't even know what to call it. You call it an accident, it was, it was scary. I'm very happy to see him not only getting around, but he's here competing. This kid is tough personified. It's amazing to see him in the squared circle tonight on the most recent episode of WWN Proving Ground. The set went to battle with the Puerto Rican Hound Dogs in a dog pound match. That was so chaotic. It was wild. Yeah, I decided to take a ride up to just to check things out. My wife was out of town, so I had a kitchen pass. I figured I'd come up, and what a great night of wrestling. But again, I thought, truthfully, I, I thought it ended in tragedy, but some of these guys are just cut from a different cloth. They're, they're again, you, we all know tough guys, we, all of us. We've all grown up you know, with, with the guys that you'll remember forever, but you look at this young man, and you just, he, he, he's gonna grow into that body. He's in great shape, but he's clearly gonna add on weight as he's working on the- Oh, uh, and a hot on. start right there, Delgado. Maybe uh, taking advantage of Hound Dog having his eyes off of him. See, that's what happens when you hang around with Francisco Chiazzo. You start doing things like that. Just underhanded tactics. And you know Francisco, he's gonna be out there like the Godfather, like a big old meatball sitting on the ring apron. Absolutely. Doing as little as possible, and he's gonna let his underling do all the work. And you can't beat him time. Francesco Chiazzo definitely likes to play the role of coach on the apron, but when he does get in there, it spells trouble for his opponents. Absolutely. There's nothing the guy won't do to pick up the victory, and he likes inflicting pain. Look at Puerto Rican hound dog. Incredible agility for a man who's definitely pushing 300 pounds. Yeah, like a cat in there. Meow. Puerto Rican hound dog. And there it is. There's Rafael Delgado being taken under the wing by Frankie, who's probably giving him some well-needed advice at this moment. Hopefully they don't take their eyes off their opponents for too long, though. Just like I said, Francisco heads for higher grounds while Raphael just gets completely leveled. Absolutely just feeding him to the lion's den. Um, a 
don't know how that's going to work out for the relationship of Delgado and Francisco Piazza. Tough love. Tough love, my friend. Beautiful. Almost took his head off. Oh, really? Just close range. And that can't spell good for the already injured neck of Damian Gemini. But like we mentioned earlier, these guys, they put a target. They know that there's an injury. They know there's a softball. They're going to go after it. Nice vertical suplex. Damian Gemini is a versatile young athlete being coached and mentored by his father. But two on one still spells trouble. Looking up. That might have been a little low. A little, little below the belt, as they say in the business. Reaching for not calling for hey. it. Having a handful of hair, does he really need to? Just, just disrespect. Scoop and a slam. Already making the tag. Keatso says, that's enough. I need to catch my probably third wind at this point. Guy's smart, can't take nothing away from him. Devious, been known to use chicanery and skullduggery on the same night. I've seen it with my own eyes. Puerto Rican hound dog, the big dog, trying to make sure that wasn't a three count. Referee admonishing him. Hey. With just enough time now for Francisco Chiazzo to do some cheating behind the ref. Come back. on, ref. Haven't you ever seen professional wrestling before? You would think these refs would know a little bit better. Yeah, they get caught up in the moment, too. And hound dog wasn't doing any favors to his son there. You know what I like about the Puerto Rican hound dog? What's the guy that? takes it, so he goes to Puerto Rico and he competes in wrestling matches representing his home country here in Port Ritchie. He's got a school of his own as well, so he's been pumping out young talent for years. He sure does, and his son is only one of the many students to come out of that school. Hey, and we got the boys coming up from Fort Myers. We got a great, great school down there as well. It's great to see everybody working together all in the name of building up young talent w for the future. WWN really is the melting pot of professional wrestling. People come from all walks of life, mm -hmm. all over the world, just to get a shot at WWN. It's a fact. Been working with Sal with WWN for 20 something years and prior to that we unsuccessfully tried to kill each other on several occasions. And Here comes the big dog. Dog's right under. Levels him. How about that? Look at that clothesline. Big back elbow. He really does just move just quick. Tells the ref move like that. Direct in traffic like a ring general. How is he going to follow it up? Huge diving headbutt. That's got to be it right there. Fred. And of course, Francisco Chiazzo coming in to break up that three count. That was an Italian hammer, just like the Polish. You get my point. Of course, big forearm by the Puerto Rican hound dog. That's why it's so difficult in these matches for the referee to keep control. Arms and legs flying everywhere. Oh, it's just so hard. Big bodies in there, too. You got to... His primary concern is the safety of the competitors, but he's got to worry about his own safety as well. Let's be honest. Absolutely. Yeah, this is kind of getting the feeling that things are about to fall apart and break into a street fight. Uh-oh, he'd be going for that twisting Samoan drop. Flying Ted. Damian Gemini, I don't know if this is a smart move taking that time to put the sweatshirt on, but if he goes to that top rope and connects, it could be over. Maybe I'm old fashioned, but I what what does the hoodie add to the frog splash? Pageantry, but that splash could add defeat for the set. Just like that. What an impressive victory for the Puerto Rican Hound Dogs. Taking care of Francisco and Delgado, members of the set. They are on a big hot streak here in WWN. I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. The fans happy as heck with the result of that match. The fans barking along with Damian Gemini and Rafael Gonzalez. In my opinion, my professional opinion, these guys could be in line for a tag team title shot in the near future. Pretty hard to deny them the opportunity at this point with the role that they're on. I'm sure the championship committee is watching closely. I know I am. If I have any stroke, these guys are gonna be in line for a title shot sooner than later. And I'm sure the Puerto Rican Hound Dogs are gonna sit back and watch very closely to the tag team title match tonight. ACW champions, the Mad Men at work, defend the belts against wild side experience. Tito Torres and Benji Neptune. Oh, what a match. That's what it
can go to our next match. Just like to thank our title sponsor, Moss Nissan. Our key sponsor, Casco Power Sports. Also, the concessions are benefiting the Robotics Club. To grab some grub over there. Also, we have some t shirt competitive t shirts for sale. Also, have some raffle items as well as a 50 50 drawing will be held at our intermission. Ladies and gentlemen, our following contest is given up for our red ball. It is for the Shine Championship. Match number two for championship gold. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to remind you that if you're tuning in live on Twitch, other ways you can see WWN is by signing up for Club WWN at clubwn.com. Hey, you know when somebody who's cooler than everybody else in the building just walked in? Well, you're looking at it right now because Lindsey Snow is one of the most badass wrestlers on the planet. And we have her here tonight facing the Shine Champion, Eva Lee, in what, as far as I'm concerned, dream match territory. Look at her. Just the coolest, most badass, most dangerous. We've seen in XPW one of the most violent women on the planet when they call for it. What do you think goes through the champion's head, Eva Lee, when she sees that she's matched up against this woman, Lindsay? Yeah, looking literally like a rock star. And she is a rock star worldwide. Yeah. I'm talking about how dangerous Lindsay Snow is. You're looking at somebody equally as dangerous, if not more dangerous, the Shine Champion. She's been carrying the torch in Shine for many, many years. Everybody worldwide knows about Eva Lee, but Lindsay Snow is bound and determined. She come here with one thing in mind, and that's leaving as the Shine Champion. No doubt about it, Ron Nimi. She holds that belt with pride, and I know this isn't the first time these two have squared off in the squared circle, but this could be the toughest test for Ivelisse tonight. Fans here in Port Ritchie getting some unbelievable matches, but the title matches, man. I've, again, I've been just chomping at the bit all week. My wife's like, relax. And It'll be Saturday soon enough. And we still have more title defenses coming up. But right now, Women's Championship. This is gonna, this is a pick em for me. It really is. Flip a coin, man. I mean, if I was a betting man, which thank God I'm not, I wouldn't know where to put my money. But, you, I mean, the, the, the champion, Eva Lee, has shown time and time again, a lot of times just totally dominates, but somehow finds a way to pick up that victory and has that open contract. She's a fighting champion. There's no doubting that. Absolutely. Now, Ron, maybe you know these women better than I do. What is the strategy for either of these two going into this match? If I'm Eva Lee, I'm coming in and I'm just going to flat out try to out wrestle Lindsay Snow. But Lindsay Snow with that Brazilian jiu jitsu background, I, I really wouldn't be surprised to see her take it to the canvas and go to the submission game. And I think that would be a great plan. And that's what we're seeing right now very much a ground game, not quite the style of professional wrestling that we've seen in the past few matches, but it's definitely interesting, that's for sure. Hey, but that's a good example of you, you can see anything here. You know, anything can happen and probably will. But Lindsay, I've seen her. In death matches, you know, she's an accomplished tattoo artist. She uses those needles as weapons. Not gonna see that here tonight, I don't believe. Beautiful judo throw by Lindsay Snow right there. 
But when she's not training or competing in the wrestling ring or working in the tattoo parlor, she's training with Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She never stops working. That's why she's in the condition she's in. Absolutely. A lady of many, many disciplines. Definitely a top challenger for Ivelisse's championship. No doubt. No doubt mind. at all. I, Ivelisse isn't the type that... Ooh, I don't want to say she's concerned, because she don't get concerned. But trust me, no matter how she carries herself, no matter how she acts, she knows she's in there with the number one contender. Well, even if she is even the slightest bit concerned, you don't see it on her face, that's for sure. She will not show it. Both of these ladies travel the world just constantly competing. Somehow jet lag just doesn't seem to affect the two of them. Eva Lee's with that arm ringer. Sends Lindsay flying across the ring. Signaling, that's it, I'm here to tell you, it ain't that easy. Pushes her right off, let's see how she follows it up. Big drop kick. Got every bit of it too. Lindsay to her feet. Going for that flying knee. And notice how the capacity crowd here is just in awe of these two ladies. They're giving them action, but the crowd just sitting on their hands there, so excited to see what's gonna come next. But you know, it isn't just the athleticism and how great a wrestlers they are. For the people of Newport Ritchie, they're, they don't usually witness. Again, look at these two. Stars, beautiful, tough, ripped. Absolute stars in the professional wrestling world at WWN Proving Ground every Friday night. We don't see a lot of female competitors, so this is a real treat for Newport Ritchie tonight. Lindsay Snow. Seemed to be getting a little frustrated there, but... She just can't let that frustration get the worst of it because Eva Lee's will capitalize quickly. There, right there. Kick right to the face. Going for that super kick, and I don't think she got all of it, but now resorting to taking out those legs. Good decision. She most certainly got enough to keep Lindsay on her back even for that short amount of time. Hey, do you see how she used that rope to launch herself off for that? I think that might be it, too. Incredibly aware of her surroundings. Eva Lee's knew that those ropes, they can give you a little added advantage, not in the illegal way that some people use them. Hey, she's not above using them the illegal way either. Try, and there it is. Right as I say it. It's been watching Eva Lee's. I've been lucky enough to call several Shine shows over the years, and, you know, with my old buddy Lenny Leonard, and I've seen Eva Lee's just, she's, she's always, again, always at the top of her game. You start, you know, you always figure everybody has an off night, everybody. She somehow manages to not have off nights. Cool, calm, and collected is the best way to describe Eva Lee's as our champion. And Lindsay Snow, uh, worse for wear, she just took another DDT. I don't know how much her head can take that much punishment. On oh, driving that knee right into the small of the back and putting all that pressure. You can see the pain etched across the face of Lindsay Snow, but veteran referee Chuck Oren right there. And the crowd getting behind Lindsay Snow. They want to see her come back with a flurry of offense. Elbows right to the solar plexus. I don't know if they use that term anymore, but I do. Kick right to the ribs. Cover. I like the presence of mind of the champion to hook that leg. Absolutely. Ivelisse is well aware of her surroundings and what she needs to do to take her opponent down and out. Look at, I was talking about Lindsay Snow going to the submission game, but look at what we have here. Ivelisse just stretching. Lindsay Snow, all kinds of pressure, and she has totally locked in and staring into her eyes. Got her twisted up like a pretzel, but the power of Lindsay Snow trying to make a pinfall attempt on Ivelisse. Hey, how about the confidence? So to just be staring inches away into the eyes of you. Hold on a second. I thought that was it. Well, that referee needs to be in position because there are a lot of close calls right there. See my old buddy Alex returning on camera tonight. WWN veteran, been out of the game for a few years. Great to see him back. I'm telling you, people are coming out of the woodwork Literally. for this event. This is a big deal here tonight. Seen Jeff Bradley in the crowd. I haven't seen him in, God, 15, 20 years. Former Dudley Dudley in ECW. He went to Big Japan while he worked for me in IPW Hardcore Wrestling. I did. Always good to see him. I got to work several shows with him in Georgia back in the day for my buddy Jody Peterman, who also doubled as my lawyer and kept me out of jail as often as he could. Big European uppercut. 
lighten up Eva Lee's who's signaling for what I think it oh going for the bulldog and unceremoniously Eva Lee's just sheds her opponent yeah he just just a slip on a floor and falling on your tailbone is bad enough. Can you imagine with that type of velocity in a wrestling match being sent down? Big suplex. Bridge, think that's it. Chuck Oren, I think a little bit out of position on that one. I think if Eva Lee's would have had those hands locked, almost like a fisherman suplex, she would have had her trapped. But they, again, they gotta be. It's like breathing in warm water in this building, the humidity, it's blazing hot outside. I'm Big. telling you, when I walked inside, the air conditioning was on, but I think with the capacity crowd, it's just so many people, the heat is unbearable. And there's lots of, I see this every time I'm in Port Ritchie, there's a lot of sexy people here. That tends to make a building a lot hotter too. Yeah. I know you've noticed it in the past. I mean, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of everyone here at Pasco County. Not but all of them, not all of them, but there are some. Going well, in the top, what's oh. gonna happen here? Hey, using all of that five count. Setting her up, up in the higher end district. Referee being a little lenient with the count, I think he knows the definitely how important this match is to both ladies. Well, he don't wanna be chased out of town with this throng of fans with pitchforks and torches because there's nobody here wants to see a count out victory while they're on the ropes brawling. Oh, hanging on to the ropes for dear Smart life. Smart move again, that presence of mind, aware of her surroundings. Eva Lee's has shown that the entire matchup so far. No, Lindsay setting her up on the second rope. Once again, Eva Lee's hanging on for dear life. Lindsay needs to switch up her game oh. plan. Uh -oh. There we go. Uh-oh. That didn't work out well. Eva Lee's might have been better off going with what Lindsay had in mind from the start, but but bought now, it and bought it. Lindsay needs to get off of her back and make that cover. Be sure to hook the leg. Otherwise, you can't take Eva Lee's too lightly. You can't leave her on her back for too long. Well, as as the match goes on, Eva Lee's is one of those competitors that she just gets stronger with time. I'm getting tired right now. She's, She's getting stronger. Not neither of these women look worse for wear, or not breathing heavy. Well conditioned athletes. Big Lariat, duck under, setting her up. What we got here? Russian leg sweep. Cover, no. Shoulders not down, no they are. Referee says no shoulders okay. were down. He slid that hand in. He was in checking. the mat and the shoulders. You're not gonna get one on no, over on old Chuck. His eyes might not be what they used to be. Some of us were progressive bifocals, Chuck, don't worry. Two count. Near fall. Eva Lee's can't waste any time. She's had multiple, multiple attempts of putting Lindsay Snow away. I think she needs to, she needs to go in for the kill. I think you're right because again, Lindsay Snow, reminiscent of Eva Lee's as matches go on, she's just, she's just a scrapper. She's a fighter out of Jay Lethal's academy. That guy just pumps out talent for years and years now. Hold on, two. Still not enough. And we are gonna see so many Jay Lethal trainees here on this extraordinary card tonight. Like, we're, we're nowhere near done yet. I hope you know that, Hey, Rob. I went to that school the other day. My son's uh, friend just had his graduation match at the uh, lab. So I got to go see his first match. Big Con, Evan Bourne. They are the real deal over there. Jay Lethal, David Mercury. What a crew they got, pumping out great talent. Seen my boy Wheezy. He's helping out over there, Shogun. Newport Richie, Saturday night. Oh, here we go, she's got her locked. Oh! A fisherman driver of sorts. What's it gonna take for Lindsay Snow to get her hand raised and walk out of here as a champion because she's thrown everything at her but the kitchen sink. And don't tempt her. I saw a kitchen sink earlier. Done. Eva Lise, tenacity, heart, guts, stubbornness.
It's been the measuring stick for women's professional wrestling going on forever. It's been a long, long time, and they've been pumping out top-rate matches, shows around the country forever. And it ain't gonna change. Look at Losing her cool. Eva Lee's raining down right and left. Think she came awfully close to losing her cool. Hold on. And Eva Lee's trying to dislodge herself by kicking Lindsay repeatedly. Eva Lee's first to her feet, punching the head of Lindsay Snow. Big elbow, finds the mark right on the jaw. Oh! Chalk! No referee. Lindsay thought she had the championship. No referee available. Chuck Oren's over on Dream Street, trying to shake off the cobwebs. Absolutely not. Not with the likes of Eva Lee in there. Sends her into the bottom turnbuckle. Oh! Cover, hook of the leg, two, that's it! What's it going to take? Who is the competitor that can end the reign of Eva Lee's? Because, as far as I'm concerned, at this point, it's starting to look like absolutely nobody. Great match. Still your champion, Eva Lee's, but Lindsay Snow to her feet. She has nothing to hang her head about, that's for sure. Is there a break anytime soon? I see those concessions over there. I see those cold drinks that nobody's bringing us. Maybe Lord Darth Vader could use the force and send us over one of those uh, ice cold waters or a hot dog or something. <laughs> One word, money. Lots of money. following Stephen Frick since the beginning of his career and 
in incredible condition, but I'm gonna tell you what, man. It's tough enough getting in there facing Buckshot, but with Sean Davis in his corner again, eyes in the back of your head comes to mind. Veteran referee Jim Bragg signals for the bell. Good luck, Jim. You're gonna have your hands full in this one. Look at Brian Brock sporting that new haircut. Looking I good. I not even tell with that cowboy hat on. Big man. Big swing and a miss. As far as I'm concerned, Brock is one of the best heavyweight competitors in the country today. Getting a lot of eyes on him with repeated appearances, WWN and now we see him in NWA making a big mark. Billy Corgan from the Smashing Pumpkins got that one right. Oh! Well, look at Stephen Frick taking oh, the yeah. fight. Take the fight right to Brian Rock. Said it doesn't matter how hard you hit, I can hit just as hard. Oh, he's not backing down. Followed him right to the outside of the ring as well. Finding out that might not have been the greatest idea. Oh! Firing back. The cameras could hardly keep up with the action we got going on on the outside of the ring right hey, now. Look at my buddy Jim Bragg following right along too. The referee not deterred, man. Been oh, yeah. doing it for over 35 years. Jim Bragg is a trooper. He really is a trooper. Trying to get himself in the middle of this match? Unreal. Is there anybody more obnoxious than Sean Davis? Do you I, know anybody? Maybe you? you. Oh, stop it. How dare you, sir? Sean Davis just... No, in all seriousness, Sean Davis is one of the most irritating people I've ever met in my entire life. He really is. And the fans in Newport Ritchie have just have a years-long relationship with Sean that's not good. No, it's unfortunate for them, I'm sure. Look at Brock, reminiscent of the great Terry Gordy, Bobby Duncan Jr. This guy, I'm gonna tell you, if he had came along in the 80s, would have been an international superstar. That's how I think this still plays out. Absolutely, he really is reminiscent of all of those tough competitors from yesteryear, and speaking of yesteryear, we have so many Florida wrestling legends in attendance here tonight. Cuban assassin, one half of the Southern Posse, Rick Thames is in the building, Dave Penzer walk around. Absolutely. Bob Cook, one of the greatest punches in professional wrestling history, Bob S Cook, he's speaking here tonight. of Bob Cook, he has entered into that incredible main event that yes. we have tonight, the Southern Stampede. More than 20 competitors, and they're only could be one winner. The first show I ever ran was in August of 1991. Bob Cook under a hood was the main event as the mass superstar against Dennis Knight as Tex Salinger with Ron Slinker in his corner. You want to talk about Florida history? Unbelievable. And we're going to relive some of that history tonight in the Southern Stampede. Oh, can you imagine being chopped by that? It's like a catcher's mitt. It's like and just as leathery. It's like getting hit with a frying pan. Oh my God. I've been hit by a frying pan. And I'm still married to the one that hit me with it. I like that kind of fire. Oh! To each his own, but I don't know. If Stephen Frick keeps getting waylaid by Brian Rock, he's not going to like it very much. It's Stephen Frick with that lunatic dump on the outside. He come out. I, what was he pet? What was that he was petting? on the way out. I don't think there was anything. I oh. was petting nothing. His Uncle Dump is out of his mind. I know I have terrible eyes, but I I didn't think there was anything there. But you know what? I would still rather strike up a conversation with Uncle Dump than that other buffoon on the other oh. end of the ring, Sean Davis. I can't blame you. Yeah, I don't know if Uncle Dump is unlikable. He just has all of his screws loose. Sean Davis, on the other hand, one of the most despicable humans. Look at him. Oh, stop it. My goodness. And you know, he's been just carrying on these antics in WWN forever. Go back and watch some of the old Heartbreak Express tag matches in FIP. If you want to see gallons of blood being shed, that, those are the matches with the Market Crashers and the Davis Brothers, Heartbreak Express, come on, man. You know where you can see all of that? Oh, yes. Subscribe to Club WWN at clubwwn.com for all of your WWN wrestling needs. I'm thinking of transferring my Pornhub subscription money over to Club WWN, but this is- Ron, you're gonna get us thrown off the air. Tough, tough decisions. For those of you who aren't aware, we are live here in Newport, Richie. We are streaming live on Twitch. Twitch? Yeah, Twitch. We're on 
platforms I wasn't even aware of. I thought it was just for video games, but I'm sadly mistaken. Yeah, that's what my son watches that stuff for. It literally watches people play video games. I'm like, why don't you play video games? And he said, shut up. Oh my goodness, we're taking this match back out to the floor. If anybody's used to a street fight, you're looking at it right there. Buckshot, Brian Brock. Did you see that? He just lifted the mat that protects the floor and protects the wrestlers. What's he going to do? He's not worried about protecting the floor or his opponent. Hold on. Trying to pile drive him. Using this isn't going to end well for anybody. Did you hear the thud? Flesh and bone and concrete. Flesh bone, concrete, and a sound that echoed all throughout the Wendell Crane Technical High School here for Battle of the Brave. Brian Brock can blame himself for that. Look at these animals here in attendance tonight. Good to see everybody got the... Sean Davis not happy that the crowd getting behind Stephen Frick. I think he needs to focus more on his man who just took a spill onto the concrete oh, a floor. A huge spill. Packed house. Always nice of the local mental hospital to give everybody a six-hour pass to be able to come out and see the show. Well, that's how Uncle Dup got here. You know it. Stephen Frick firing away. Hold on. Rocking. Bringing the fight. Starting to wonder if cutting the hair was a mistake by Brian Brock. That might have been where he drew his power from. Stephen Frick manages to get him over a suplex. What power to be able to lift the big man. How about that upper body strength on Mr. Frick? That was almost it. I think if referee Jim Bragg was just a little bit quicker, this could have been over. Jim Bragg, as consistent as he is anything. Steven Frick sensing it, but Brock able to sidestep. Big boots, leather and flesh, connect. That's it, forget it. Two oh, and three quarters. Unbelievable. I thought that was it right there. He almost took his head off with that big boot. Attempted decapitation. That's illegal even here in Pasco County. Come on, Brian Brock knows better. He doesn't need to be arguing with the official. He needs to be putting away his opponent. He does know better. Maybe that's the influence of Sean Davis. You took the words right out of my mouth because Brock would never waste his time arguing with the referee when there's business to be taken care of. But I think the attitude of Sean has... Hold on. Big moment here. This could be it. If he would have hit him with that lariat, that would have been it. Sean Davis. Come on. Jump. Has his hands on Sean. All oh, the managers look like they're getting into it. A meeting of the minds of is, sorts. Is that the Oriental tool or the Asiatic spike? What I can't tell. What's going on here? August Artois. That. Who we saw before the show started. He has at his it. own tough test ahead of him tonight. What is he doing out hey, here? You want to talk about obnoxious? Thorn in the side of all the fans and competitors here in WWN interjecting himself into business no, that is not can't his. Be it. Come on. Oh! Stick a fork in him. He's done. That's it. Let's go get our official word. Buckshot Brian Brock better thank Sean Davis and give half of his pay to August Artois because if it wasn't for him, this match would still be going on. Right I can't now. argue with you. But you want to talk about a, a stable that operates as a team. All for one and one for all. Something like that. Don't exactly bring memories of the Three Musketeers these three, but it works. I can't argue with it. I don't like it. Steven, look at August. Really proud of himself, isn't he? Three fools. Three fools going to the back right now, and Steven Frick has got a lot to think about. How is he going to get retribution on Sean Davis, Buckshot Brock, and August Artois? Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest is scheduled for a one fall. It is for the AC.
ECW Tag Team Championships. Introducing first. Here we go. Starting off hot. Second half of the show with Tag Team Championship match. This is my boy Benji Neptune and his partner Tito Torres. Young up and comers with a hell of a following being built in Florida. These guys with the opportunity of their career getting a shot at the ACW Tag Team Championship. Third title match of the night. Battle for the Brave. Here, Newport Richie. At the Wendell Crin Technical High School, packed house on a Saturday night. And there's your ACW Tag Team Champions of Scyther and Chungus. This team has been on a tear in ACW. Been coming out on Proving Ground Friday nights time and time again defending those tag team championships getting it from the crowd who are 100 percent behind benji and tito how can you get behind these two young blue chip athletes scyther the veteran with his protege the big man chungus Dangerous tag team. Probably carrying those ACW tag team belts. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first my challenger, standing to my right, and a combined weight of 445 pounds, the team of Tito Torres and East Benji Town. Benji Lipton. Wild side, baby. And their opponents, they hail from the quarry. The Iron Reading and defending ACW Tag Team Champions, the team of Chungus and Cypher, the Mad Men at World. Your tag team champs. The madmen at work, and you look at the eyes of Scyther. Madmen couldn't be more appropriate of a name. I love Benji Neptune just chapped. Guys, as wide as he is tall, good luck finding an ounce of fat on the bodies of Torres or Neptune. Referee Chuck Oren showing the challengers and the fans that the ACW Tag Team Championship indeed on the line. We're about to start the second half. You hear the bell, here we go. Crowd on the edge of their seats here. They might have paid for the whole seat but they're only gonna need the edge. Line made famous by the great modern miracle, Steve Madison, my boy. The Wild Side Experience. You came up in the 90s and 2000s independent wrestling. Your Wild Side Experience was a little different. My boy Bill Barron's got it done up in Georgia for so many years, pumping out talent like AJ Styles, David Young, Jimmy Ray, Blackout, Tank, Iceberg. The list goes on and on, but it's 2023, and you're looking at the new Wild Side Experience and 
Menji, Neptune, and Tito Torres. Hearing it from the crowd. They love these guys. I'm gonna try to pace myself. I'm flying solo on this one. They're gonna get everything they can for me tonight, folks, and I'm gonna give it. The old proverbial 110%. People enjoying the concessions and raffles and meeting some of the legends in attendance here tonight. My boy Bill Alfonso just looking like a million bucks over there. What an inspiration for the younger talent to see the legends coming out here and donating their time and supporting such a great event and sticking around and watching the matches and giving some critique and coaching. It's a great experience for the young talent here. Hell, it's a great experience for me. If you're not enjoying yourself here tonight, you're not trying. Hoping the fans at home watching on Switch and Club WWN are feeling the energy that there is here in this building tonight. The madman at work, going the work. Big shot by Scyther. But Torres turning things around and throwing Scyther into the corner and unleashing a chop of his own. Why not another? Asking the fans. Is the third time indeed a charm, and looks like that's the case. Coast to coast, really telegraphed it, running into that elbow. You can't do that with a veteran like Scyther, who then promptly runs straight into a body slam, and Torres milking it for all his work before depositing Scyther right in the middle of the ring. Hook and leg, but only able to get a one count. I think Torres is just letting Scyther know, hey man, you better be on your toes because at any moment, I'll end this match. I want that championship gold. Double team maneuver. It's Benji time. When I was growing up in the 70s, Benji time was a totally different meaning and involved a Cocker Spaniel. But that's a story for another time. Look at the strength of young Benji Neptune. Taking his partner, use him as a weapon. Sending him crashing down on this either. Who says, enough. I've had all I can stand and I can't stand no more. Trying to regroup. Got a 10 count. Chuck just starting to count with a one. Like I said earlier, there's nobody in Port Ritchie that wants to see a count out. They want to see decisive winners and losers. And I can guarantee you, they want to see Benji and Tito walk out as the new tag team champions. I find it hard myself to not get behind these two. Such enthusiasm, such fire. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Toro, if Cypher and Chungus do not get back in the ring by the tank count, they will lose their tag team championships. Hold on. As well as be indefinitely suspended by WWN officials. Well, Chuck obviously got the message. These folks don't take kindly to count out. So he just took the liberties of rewriting the rule book. And when you're Chuck Orton, I guess you can do things like that. All the way to seven. The madman at work understand things are about to get very serious, so they make a beeline toward the ring, but are met by stereo drop kicks. Benji. Guy's got so much. Look, he's taking the fight to the much bigger Chungus. There's a Chungus among us slamming his head on the ring apron. High five in the fans. What can't Benji do? How about that do-rag? I don't think I could pull it off wearing that. My Crip friends wouldn't like it. Chongus throwing Benji Neptune back into the ring. And I'm going to tell you what, the talent in the crowd here tonight is something to behold, ladies and gentlemen. If you ain't here, you're missing out. The ladies of Newport Ritchie decided this was their destination. 
early Saturday evening. Guarantee they'll turn things up later on tonight. This is a wild town, folks. Cover. Only a two count for the champs. Driving. Young Benji Neptune. Men are from Mars and women are from Venus, but Benji's from Neptune. And he's all business here tonight, my, my friends. Scyther. Wasting precious time when you got to, oh, breaking. The flesh on the back. Guarantee he's got some flesh under the, those fingernails. Now going to work on the eyes. I always like to call that the great equalizer. I don't care how tough you are. I don't care what kind of advantage or disadvantage you have in the match. Somebody's able to get their fingers in the eyes like that. It's gonna put the brakes on things really quick. I've only got one good eye. Benji has two perfectly healthy ones. I wanted to stay that way. Firing away at the bread basket of Chungus. Who levels him, tags in his partner. Well, like a well-oiled machine. The madman at work, the ACW tag team champions, showing why they are the champs. Like to give a nod to our old friend, the unfortunately departed Heath Schneider, the man that brought us so many ACW shows for so many years. The name still lives on, and I'm sure he's looking down proud as can be. Tito, man on fire, drop kick, what an athlete, cover, hook and a leg, two, it's a, oh. thought he had him, not trying to play cheerleader, but a lot of people have told me this is the future of tag team wrestling in Florida, who am I to argue, oh not able to get him up for that, Vertical suplex. Scyther able to put on the brakes, but swing and a miss on that clothesline. Chongus, hold on. Oh, God! That's how you end a career. Absolutely brutal. Chuck Oren starts the count again. Nobody, I repeat, nobody wants to see a count out. Dave Penzer just getting the autograph that he asked me for earlier, but also the address for the Brass Flamingo in Club 54. We know what he's gonna be up to later tonight. Behave yourself, Penzer. No wonder you're not allowed out the house ever. Did you hear that chop? Violence personified. We promised you four title matches, folks, and we're already in the third, and what a match it is. Absolutely beautiful. Benji and Tito showing that they belong, but let's be honest. Chungus and Scyther, is there anybody that can end the championship reign of the tag team? Madman at work. Benji over in the corner just begging his partner, which he might as well be a mile away with how the Madman at work can cut the ring in half, reminiscent of the Minnesota Wrecking Crew, and just going to work. Tag team personified. These men train together. They work together. They wrestle together. They do everything together. Run the roads. Know what the other's gonna do before they do it. Beautiful snap suplex. Cover. Hook it a leg. Only a two count. Thought that was it. Chung is putting that big boot up in the corner. Partner immediately. Running Tito. Straight into the leather. You don't have to like him, folks, but you gotta respect him. 
They know what they're doing. Abdominal stretch. I haven't seen this since Bob Backlund walked away from, hold on a second. Reaching back, his partner Scyther offering his hand to pull. Once again for even more torque. Just tearing at those abdominal muscles. Torres, if he didn't the work that he does daily on his core would be in even more trouble he's in right now. Remember when Kerry Von Eric would use the abdominal stretch, he'd also apply the stomach claw at the same time, but... No, cut off! Tito doing everything he can to get across. Big power slam! Count him! Tito Torres not to be denied. Not sure if Tito Torres is a fan of Chico Torres from Bon Jovi, but I am. Like this kid too. Where Chung is going? To the high rent district. The big man. Beautiful moonsault. Look at the air. Injuring his own ribs. Chungus throwing caution to the wind. Comes up on the short end of the stick. Tito's just got to make the tag to his partner. Benji Neptune. Scyther tagged in. Benji tagged in. Immediately cut off. Good thinking on the part of Scyther, but... Here comes Benji, firing away, rapid fire. Beautiful clothesline. And another. Let's go! It's Benji time, baby! Oh, this kid's fired up like a powder keg. Just holding him up before delivering that beautiful side suplex. Gonna have new... Uh, we're gonna have new tag team champions there. Shock etched across the face of Benji Neptune. Torres already tagged in. I don't know about that. He took serious punishment for an extended length of time. Chungus saves his partner but pays the price. Oh no. Tito take it out. Benji Neptune because Scyther had the presence of mind to get out of the way. Now he's in control. Chungus and Benji both down and out. I see Chungus getting on the ring apron on the far side of the ring. Oh no. I see exactly what they have in mind. Superplex, huge rock splash. That's it, the champions gonna defend here in Newport Ritchie. Cover. No way. He, he kicked out. Shock reverberates throughout the building. Wendell Crin Technical High School hosting what's looking to be like the event of the year here so far. Chungus setting the young man up. Sends him into his partner in the corner. With an unbelievable Hurricane Rana. The velocity, the momentum. Beautiful discus punch. You gotta cover him, Benji. What are you doing? The legal man, Tito. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about. Cover. Leg drop by Chungus. Onto his partner. Here's the opportunity. Seize the opportunity. Two. We have new tag team champions. Here are the winners and new yes. ACW tag team champions. Let's go. Experience. Wild side experience. Benji Neptune. Tino Torres. Your new. ACW Tag Team Champions!
after an incredible match. What a match! Man, am I glad I was here to see this. And damn, I was lucky to call it. What a reign for the madmen at work. But it's come to an end here in Newport Ritchie at the battle for the brave. Your new tag team champions, the wild side experience. The matches are great, but the moments are even better. And I just experienced a pretty incredible moment, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for a one fall. And it's for the WWE Proving Ground Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first. folks the big boys gonna start throwing some bombs Jonathan Hudson looking like several million dollars but he's gonna have his hands full as he's facing the WWN Proving Ground Champ. Someone that if you've been listening to me for the last six months has been telling you, you want to look at the future of Florida wrestling, you're looking at it right there. Being led to the ring by the despicable, heinous, some would say criminal, Francisco Chiazzo, devious mastermind behind the rise of the set in Richport Ayala. Fourth title match here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger standing to my right from Malibu, California, weighing in at 240 pounds. He is the Alpha Daddy of professional wrestling, Jonathan Hudson. Let's go, Hudson. And his opponent from Bronx, New York. Weighing in at 240 pounds, he is accompanied by Francisco Chiazzo, representing the set incorporated. He is your reigning and defending WWE Proving Ground Heavyweight Champion, Mr. RPA, the freaking region. Definitely not a fan favorite. And just realized I've been running my mouth on night saying there's four championships. There's five championship matches tonight. This is the fourth. Still have that FIP Heritage Championship later tonight.
The talent level just continues to rise on the independent scene in Florida is no different. Ring the bell. Jonathan Hudson, Richport Ayala. Blue Chippers, if there's ever been any, facing off here in Newport Ritchie. Richport Ayala, the Proving Ground champ, as well as the TCW heavyweight champ. Guy's becoming a belt collector. We're gonna need a wheelbarrow to carry him all around by the time he's done. Looks like I'm flying solo again on this one. Lucky I have such strong vocal cords to go with these boyish good looks. Can't help it, folks. It's something I was born with. Hudson in no hurry whatsoever, and I can't blame him for that mentality. And Richport Ayala, the champion, has that champion's advantage. Definitely wouldn't call it the home court advantage, even though he's the proving ground champion. We're here in Newport Ritchie. These people definitely haven't taken him in as one of their own. Already going to the outside, much to the chagrin of the fans in attendance. See a bunch of EMTs, firemen, proud members of the VFW. All kinds of cool people hanging out here tonight for a great cause. Heard some really moving words from some families that have been helped by these great charities during intermission and shook me up and that's not easy. Very proud to be part of this event here tonight. Having a blast too. Look at that. Come on, Rich. Let's go. Chiazzo telling his charge, don't, don't listen to them, but also getting the hell out of harm's way as soon as Hudson follows Richport, throwing him inside the ring. Richport Ayala actually debuted in Japan for pro wrestling Noah. So he was touring internationally before he even started wrestling. But he brings those experiences that he gains anytime he goes overseas and applies it to the matches that he signs and competes for here in Florida. You're gonna be hearing a lot of both of these young men. And hey, spread the word. Florida talent deserves the buzz that they don't ever seem to get for historically. They don't react, they don't get online the way the Northeast and, and West Coast fans do. They love the talent they see, but it'd, like, it'd be nice to see a campaign get behind some of these guys because I'm lucky enough to see them on a regular basis and saw this title match on paper leading up to the show and I knew it was gonna be a good one. Slamming the head of Hudson. Watch out for Kiazzo. He's acting like he doesn't want to get involved, but trust me. He can sneak in a kick or two. He'll do it. He's that kind of guy. But like, again, like Richport Ayala as a champ, as if he's not dangerous enough, you gotta keep your eye out for Kiazzo, but what about the rest of the set? They might not be at ringside, but at any time, they could come from the back, they could come through the front door. Raphael, Gus, Catalina Perez, as beautiful as she is deadly. I have no idea how Piazzo got her involved in this set. Not exactly the smoothest of smooth talkers, but Catalina was looking for a change in her career trajectory and to say she made a huge change would be an understatement. Hey Hudson, unloading shot after shot. Big man sent across the ring into those turnbuckles, gets the boot up in time. Richport eats it. Scoop, nice side slam. Athletes folks, professional wrestlers who take their craft very, very seriously. Referee telling Richport only a two count. Jim Bragg making sure we all got the message loud and clear, it's only two. 
I'm paying attention to you, Jim. Don't worry. Big slam with the humidity and perspiration all over his opponent. Richport almost lost his grip, which, to be honest with you, would not be good for the challenger. Nobody wants to be dropped on their head. Well, actually, I know a few people do, and they pay dearly for that service, but I probably shouldn't bring that up here. Hudson with pain just etched across his face. And Richport pepper with punches. Hey, the people of Newport Ritchie, they come to professional wrestling. They don't go see Oppenheimer or Barbie on Saturday nights, folks. You're in the right spot, folks. Oh! Swinging for the fences. Turnabout is fair play. Man, I wouldn't want to stand in the middle of the ring and throw hands with either of these guys. I keep getting distracted by incredibly hot Newport Ritchie women walking by. Dark Vader's getting distracted too. Stretching! Are we looking at a new champion? Crossface. Jim Bragg right in the face of Richport Ayala says, do you give up? I'm not sure Richport Ayala knows that word. Doesn't know the word submit. Would never use the term give up. He won't even call his uncle uncle just in case somebody's confused. Reaches for the ropes and just like that, Hudson's got a five count to break it up. Referee Jim Bragg starts it, gets a two. The law abiding citizen that is Jonathan Hudson breaks the hold at the two count. Think you gotta use it for at least four and a half, but who am I to say? I'm a, a lowly commentator over here for God's sake. Next Sunday, FIP returning to the OCC Roadhouse. I'll be there dying of heat, no doubt. Beautiful clothesline. Big back elbow. Rich Port Ayala rocking and rolling. Backed into the ropes. Irish whip. Reversal. Spine buster. Rolls them through. Setting them up. Big Shido power bomb. New champ. Right. Are you kidding me? Look at how shocked my face is. I can't believe what just happened. Well, if Jim Bragg says it's a two count, folks, I'm here to tell you it's a two count. He's had the same cadence when counting pins since the year 1982. It hasn't changed once. Francisco Chiazzo shouting words of encouragement to Richport Ayala, but he seems like he's getting a little frustrated there. Uh-oh, setting him up, but opening up the side of that skull. Yes! Cover up, hook and a leg, two. Come on! It's impossible to be impartial when it comes to Richport Ayala. I haven't known this kid long, but I've got a history with him, and it's not a good one. Piazza, don't even get me started on that one. Hudson signaling that that's it, it's over. With ease, scoops up Bridgeport who skins the cat. Hudson able to hang on to the ropes, suckers him in. Oh no, right into that, big, big, hold on, he got him. Chiazzo celebrating a little too early. He's been known to do that before. He does a lot of things prematurely, but I don't want to discuss that. This is a family show. Just saw my boy Sideshow's family walk in the door. Still get to see that lunatic later tonight. Bridgeport Ayala. Exasperated. Flummoxed, dare I say. Doesn't know what it's going to take to finish off this killer, Jonathan Hudson. Seems to be measuring his opponent. Scoop slam. Uh-oh. Look at the strength, right into a DDT. Hudson's got him, he's just gotta turn around and cover the champ. The fans want it. Come on, Chiazzo, what the hell's he doing up there? Uh-oh. 
He's in the wrong part of town and he's been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Oh, that was a close one. Piazza would have been sent three rows back by the charging. Bridgeport Ayala, who promptly deposits Hudson on the floor. Ah, uh, there he is, I mentioned it earlier. Look at this guy. Pile driver on the floor. Come on. Tell you, permanently end the career. Francisco Chiazzo. He may have his managerial license revoked after this, folks. The actions of this man. This isn't, not like this. Come on. Well, to say the fans are unhappy here in Newport Ridge, uh, an understatement. Ridgeport Ayala showered with booze from the fans. Once again, they're disgusted by his actions. But still, the ACW Proving Ground Champion, Richport Ayala. But let's call a spade a spade. If it wasn't for the interference and the spike pile driver on the concrete floor by Francisco Chiazzo, I'm pretty sure we'd have been looking at a different outcome, folks. Hudson, obviously disappointed and has to be feeling the effects of that pile driver but living the fight another day. Sometimes that's gotta be the game plan. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. And it's for the FIP Florida Heritage Championship. First. Here's that fifth title match I was talking about. I thought more would spoil on you people. But you're getting five? It's a lot of bang for the buck, folks. John Davis, once again. And if it couldn't get any worse, look who he's got with him. August Artois. Easily one of the most controversial and hated wrestlers in professional wrestling. And I'm not just talking by the fans, folks. He has made absolutely Zero friends anywhere he's went. Managed to piss off the front office of AEW. Word on the street is he's got no friends in the NWA. He's not welcome in the locker room here, but he makes his own space. Claims his own real estate. Sean Davis. The hell is he doing? Somehow ended up on the floor. August ripping up signs and posters from the fans. I've seen him smash a child's cell phone at one point. Just a complete jerk. Not likable whatsoever. And if there was any redeeming qualities, the guys escorted to the ring by Sean Davis, universally acknowledges the most obnoxious person in professional wrestling. And before I go any further about obnoxious people in professional wrestling, I'm joined by Francisco Chiazzo. How are you feeling after that?
my pile driver on the concrete floor. I don't know what you're talking about. I swear my I, hands are clean. That, I, I swear I saw you. My bike. hands are clean. I know you know these are progressive bifocals. They are. I can kind of see. A little bit. I'm pretty sure that's what you did. I don't know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. Look at the garbage being thrown in the ring. August Antoine. Newport Richie's very own. Just saw his hot ass girl walk in the door wearing next to nothing, which I approve of. I like hot ass. I girl. like I will like him wearing next to nothing. I like I like nothing. I I'm too. almost wearing nothing right now. Sideshow. Jack. Oh Hey man, he's been doing this. He was what 98 he started doing it for us. He yeah. was a skinny little tiny toothpick. Now, now look at him. He's a jacked up animal. Jack Stack locked in. Oh yeah. When he's not in the wrestling ring, he's in the weight room. When he's not in the weight room, he's on the track. When he's not in the track, he's in a strip joint. When he's not in a strip joint, I'm not sure where he that is. It sounds at. like me except all the opposite. It's the truth. Look at August. Total disrespect. Oh, hold on a second. They're throwing things at him. You know what, if we were in other states other than Florida, the fans would be posting on Twitter about it scared. Yes. They'd be scared and offended. Not here. No. You're lucky we're not in Puerto Rico. Does August forget where he's at? That's like sending an open invitation. That's like sending an open. Me? I'm not responsible for this. Now he's holding me responsible for people throwing garbage. It's your fault. He hands from anywhere. Who people aren't? Weighing in at 210 pounds. He's real. He's raw. He's August Hey. He is real. And he's, he's really raw. Oh, he, he's August Artois. And his opponent, he is from the Psychedelic Underground, weighing in at 225 pounds. He is your reigning and defending FIP Florida Heritage Champion, the eighth deadly season sideshow. I was okay with seven deadly sins. That was enough. I, I usually operate in all of them. Eight? It's a little much. You and I have been involved in a few oh, deadly sins. Several. Sideshow so such a sinner that he had to create his own, an eighth one. Look at Yeah, but what a I handsome like gentleman the, I August Artois is. I don't like the women that limp around in this building. It's I don't just like women who limp. Why? Period. Oh. Sideshow ready. The Florida Heritage Champion, the lineage of this championship. That's a proud champion you're looking at, but the psychological warfare, you know, you know August Antoine. Of course, he's my firstborn from the WWE Training Center. Are you, you want to be, be trained in professional wrestling, just call 727-401-2836. You're responsible for this. I am. Oh, you're responsible for me. That, I'm responsible that for That explains him. a lot. That explains everything. I said it earlier, that, that headband that this kid has got on, like the lead singer of Loverboy, looks like a great, like, 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 <laughs> profusely. What a great reference. August going to work immediately, just stomping away in fantastic condition is both of these men. Sideshow with the size advantage. He, he, outweigh, he outweighs August by at least 35 to 40 pounds. But let me tell you, there's nobody stronger in the gym than August. I've seen this kid train. Yeah, he's he an trains animal. hard every day. Complete animal. And confidence personified. Nobody home kind of telegraphing that. You're not going to get away with that with Sideshow. Look at the educated feet of Sideshow. Oh, the educated feet. I've seen him cut a rug a time or two. Fox trot and a tango. Oh, he can do it all. Up and over. Cat like quickness. Nimble, if you will. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick. Sideshow. Beautiful forearm just lighten up the mush of August Artois. You see how that just rolls up? You would speak that I. I don't speak French. I know you think I do by how it just so fluid the way it rolls off my tongue. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Some call it the language of love. Oh! Beautiful. I've been on a receiving at a time or two of that, and I'll tell you, that's one of the worst things in the world to feel on oh, your face. Does not look fun at all. And you know, August has time and time again proven you gotta be on your toes too, because if it's desperate times calling for desperate measures, watch out for that fireball. Well, absolutely. He'll get you. 
Side show putting on the brakes, and I think that's an awfully good idea. But it seems only momentarily. Air side show. Wipe him out. No care whatsoever for his own well-being. Look Listen at that. this Look. crowd. They're behind him. Oh, they love him. They always have. He started back again, wait, 97, 98, before coming on with IPW. He would work up here for this complete misfit Bill Peters. Oh! Beautiful chop. Look at these kids at ringside. What a treat. Oh, yeah. Live right up close and personal. Speaking of treats, look at that pink treat right there. Oh, Superstar Sean Davis. Oh, he is. Decked out in pink flamingo. The San Francisco treat, much like rice -aroni. The San Francisco treat. Look at this. I thought he was going to steal a page out of your book and set up that pile driver, but methodical. I thought you meant counting the lights. I was like, he's pretty good oh. that. You've had a pretty successful night here with uh, with Ridgeport, but uh, I'll tell you what, that the tag match earlier. Oof. Yeah, that was that was one I'd like to forget. Not so good. Not, not good at all. Definitely didn't get the winner's purse that. Oh! oh! Yeah, came up short at the pay window, I'm sure. Listen to that <laughs> voice that only a mother could love on payday. Look at, look at that ensemble that he's wearing. He's even got, are those matching Crocs? I think they are matching Crocs. Looks like he just came back from a Hawaiian vacation with Dave Penzer. But I think I saw Dave Penzer earlier. He is here. He is here. I told he asked for the, uh, the Brass Flamingo address and Club 54. I gave it to him. I gave him an autograph too. He yeah, asked nice. Did you really? Yes. August. Oh. Ooh. He's not one of those guys that hits hard in safe places. He just hits hard this wherever he gets really you. Hard. Chopping away like a shotgun blast. That, Randy, these guys are no, these guys are no no strangers to one another. They've been fighting in WWN for the past two years. Oh, uh, oh! That was almost really not good. Uh, no matter what happened, but that was almost really bad for August. Oh, we've seen wars between these two at the OTC Roadhouse, where we'll be next Sunday with the return of FIP. Full impact pro comes back. Can't to wait. OTC. Hey, I can't wait till we're outside in the 110 degree heat. Dying, sweating, watching some of the most violent. It, things get wild at FIP. It absolutely, wild. it's a little crazy. It, it, a little crazy. Look at this. The fans, Newport Richie. There's no, there's no, and the referee's letting this go, Ron. He's letting this referee knows how important this match is to these two guys. I said it earlier. Go ahead and be a ref that that calls a count out finish. See how that goes for you trying to get out of town. Yeah, your car will be lit on fire. Torches, pitchforks. Look, look, look at Sean Davis. Look at him. He's just, he's trying to make sure his shoe's tight. Is that what he's doing? He I, I thought he was trying to prevent the momentum. Oh, <laughs> what a dangerous, dangerous duel. It's like Pinky and the Brain. It and really is, together. together. It really is. And August is, you know, it took a while early on when these two joined forces. August really didn't understand the weapon that Sean is at ringside. Now he knows exactly how to use it. They're both using each other. Nice. But you're right, Ronnie. You, you know, you've been a manager yourself for the past 27 years. The weapon that you have at ringside as a as a second is something that you can't put a price on. Oh, yeah. On. Yeah, we talk, it's been since 91. And tonight in this building, I've got to see the likes of Jeff Bradley, Jumbo Beretta, Frankie Reyes, and his sidekick, Adam Rayai. I mean, guys that just go back forever. There's some other surprises, but I don't want to let the cat on the bag. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Look at that. I think he's got him. I know I'm supposed to be impartial, but come on. How do you not get behind Sideshow hook and a leg? Hey, I don't know. I don't know about the count of that referee. I don't want to call in the question, but you see Chuck Orton and Jim Bragg. They've been consistent since the beginning of time. My dad used to listen to Jim Bragg, referee, on the radio, and he used to tell me just how consistent his count was then. The AM radio. That was had to be, what, 1931? Oh, no, no. It was a little after that. Right after, it was the, ba the baby booner, like, 1950s. Sideshow. Just gets better with age. Like a fine wine, from what I understand. That's what I hear, anyway. Well, and let's not take away the fact that that August just got a, a, a triple lindy of kicks and knees to the face. The fact this kid still has his head up. He likes it. it. He does like it. He likes it. He, he does like it. Like Mikey liked it. <laughs> he likes it. Oh, no. Set up. 
you, you see that? So proud of himself. That was shades of Mike Tyson, if you ask me. Sneakier, though. A little sneaky. Sean Davis is just one of those... How long can you be such a despicable person? Well, a but, long time. But I was mentioning earlier, and I'll mention again. Hey, you go back to early FIP, Market Crashers. Oh. Legendary. And, and, and the Davises, I mean, Heartbreak Express. Bloody massacre. But still to this day, one of the bloodiest feuds in Nasty. WWE history. I put Roderick Strong and Eric Stevens right alongside Absolute, of it. 100%. But hey. Oh! oh! Hey, right like a marksman, right through the legs and to oh. the face of August. Double! Oh! Trying to take off the head. There's no way they're going to be able to keep up this pace for much longer. No. Dead weight, sit on powerbomb, whiplash, count to two, that's it! Wow. Come on! Wow. Sean Davis nearly has a quadruple coronary at ringside. I would have bet my last penny that that was the end. But did you see? He's coming down and his head very unsafely snaps to get that whiplash rips. type motion. That'll knock you out cold. Well, he's out on his feet, Ron. The, the, the lights are on, nobody's on. He's on rubber leg straight. Side this show. This crowd behind side show. They love him. And this is, you know, it's early. We were talking about those shotgun blasts or those chops earlier. What is it, 8 o'clock? These people, they don't even light fireworks in Newport Richie. They just shoot shotguns up into the air. So they're, they're familiar. People. They don't care. They don't care. Oh. Still, still throwing things yeah. up. Don't want to disrespect Sideshow in his quest to defend the championship, though, and something as simple as a distraction. It's all it takes, Ronnie. One second to the next, anybody can beat anybody else. And I know the, you know, the fan... Oh! I was going to say well-intentioned, but you may end up hurting your favorite. I'm not sure if you noticed the Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Vader, has been in attendance watching all night. I did. Been having a great time. Good eye by the referee. We've got some of the best officials in the World Wrestling Network with eyes like that. Well, I saw your first American boyfriend, Billy Grace, walking around earlier. He's a, he's a senior official. He is. Or general manager of the WWNCC. You name it. He's running out of room on his business card with all the titles that he's gotten. Did you see that, luxuri that luxurious beard of his? Oh. I wanted to run my hand and other things it through flows it. flows like the wine of Capistrano. It really does. Sideshow. Going up, trying to go up to the high rent district. They don't usually let me in places that are high rent. Neither one of us. No. Not welcome. We're low rent district, guys. The complete opposite of high rent. Oh, pick. Look at that shot. Clubber and blow. Now just a shot right to the temple. Well, I knew three months into this kid was going to be something special. Oh, he's, And he's, he has definitely delivered. Hey. You just got to put on your heat resistant everything when you're dealing with anybody when it comes to him. Oh! Holy Spanish fly off the top! That's it! This has got to be it, Ronnie. There's no way. Both of these guys are worse for wear with a move like that. How do you recover from the Spanish fly? Pushing him over like a bulldozer with his head. How do you kick out from that? Tenacity. Digging deep. Where does he find it? Sideshow, time and time again, we've seen him do this for years. He is Florida Heritage title personified, Ron. Without a doubt. And again, the company proud to have him as a champion, just as he is proud to carry the company as a champion. Backed in. Look at that. Just keeps adding more weapons every time you see him. Rapid fire. Not to be denied. Big knee lift. Come on, Sideshow. Cover. He's got him. Not a finger. Wow. Fucking a boop and a bop. I asked myself earlier, I said, Self, what's it going to take for Sideshow to walk out as the champion, the same as he walks in and... He's thrown everything at him. There's a good chance. There's a good chance. He might have to kill this kid. I think it's possible. And I, nobody would. We're, we're in Pasco County. They wouldn't even blink twice. They don't care. They don't care. They once had three mayors in three weeks in this town. Sean Davis breathing a sigh of relief. 
still not enough. Ronnie, I'm exhausted. I'm not even in the ring with these guys. I told Sal I want an oxygen tank and I want some Jolly Ranchers. Well, I brought my own Jolly Ranchers and you see an oxygen tank anywhere? No, I'm gonna take a Jolly Ranchers. Enjoy, please. August, in his quest to be the Florida Heritage Champion. He came, he came up to me an hour and a half ago and said, Coach, I'm gonna take this belt from around his waist if I have to pry it from his cold, dead hands. And how do you argue with him? You can't. He does everything he says he's gonna do. When he doesn't come up as the victor, you're, you're shocked. You're, you're if, if, shocked. If you really know him. But Sideshow, win or lose, this guy, every time, get in the ring. I mean, how many times have you been in the ring with Sideshow? Oh, and, uh, too many to count. Remember the war between Darby Allen and Sideshow? Oh, Gildog? Still talked about to this That's day. Great, great stuff. Come on, Sean. You know what, I think it's a time the referee needs to get this jerk. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Hold on a second. Buckshot. Come on. We've seen this one time too many. Operating as a unit. Well, Sean Davis. This is three on one, Ronnie. Distracts this young referee. Sideshow somehow able to get out of the way. But only buys himself about a second. Sean literally physically holding the referee in place. Oh! Oh! Decapitation! I'd say he might have done that on purpose, Ron. He might have. Brock up and over the top. Referee finally able to extricate himself from the grips of Sean Davis. Setting him up. Got him! Oh! Cobra, for God's sake, vicious. Wow. Get out of there. What a match. Sideshow retaining his championship. He may have won the battle, but I'm not sure about the war because Brock and Antoine now somehow to his feet with the general at ringside calling the order going to work on Sideshow. They're not just here to beat Sideshow tonight, Ron. They're here to hurt him, and hurt him they are. Mr. Frick. Oh, he's gonna be even the odds, Ron. Big spear. Cut him in half. What an insane match. Sideshow's got some, got some friends, and luckily he did. Mr. Frick coming to the aid of Sideshow, and I don't think it'd been, been much longer. Sideshow would have been in some serious trouble. Wow. I think this is quite possibly a match that will go down in WWE history as one of the most brutal ever. We're not done yet. Not even close. Am I glad you're here, dude? I'm I, glad you're I here. I had to call two matches by myself. I was completely gassed. Look at me now. I'm fresh as a daisy. You're rejuvenated. Come on. Come on. You can do this all night. We get a rejuvenated. Look at that pink outfit. Oh, unbelievable. Look at him. I seen her push a guy in in a wheelchair earlier, and I, I'm seriously considering crippling myself and hiring her. Yes, me too. Hi. They're everywhere. That's what happens when side shows. Hello. Hello. When side shows on the show, lots of those types show up. Yep. I like that. I like it too. Way to go, side show. Ah. Way to go. I'll give it to him. You gotta give it to him. I'll give it to him. I like that. I like that gray in the beard. And, hey, there he is. He's got his family. Look at him. He's got his smoke show at ringside. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at it. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd see Sideshow and the family man. I'm not looking at the kids at all anymore. Me neither. All right. He's got a nice butt. I mean, yes. I yes. Mean, yeah. Look at a crowd hanging on till the bitter end. So cool. They could have been anywhere tonight. They could have been at the Barbie movie. I mentioned that earlier. They could have been. Or Oppenheimer. They, they chose been. not they to. could have been at the Waldo Flea Market. They could have been anywhere. Like Anto? Don't even get me started. Christmas, Florida. 
So many choices. Choices. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for you. Go. It is an over-the-top rope three-man buckhouse for all battle royal. Before we do, coming up number one and number two in this match, WCW ring announcer David Penzer. David Penzer. Our buddy from Impact Wrestling. What a blast from the past, David Pinzer here at WWN. What a surprise, Ron. Gotta love Pinzer. Always. Spent a lot of time in Puerto Rico with him too. Oh, How are you doing tonight, Paul and Richie? Always good to see Pinzer. What a great night it's been. Folks, thanks for coming tonight. Hope you guys had a good time. Continue to support Penos to Towers. They're doing great things all over the country. And also the Pasco. Put on my Rudy glasses. The Pesco Patriots Association. So be sure to continue to support them. I will as well. Also, please welcome your special guest referee, Newport Richie Mayor, Chopper Davis. Where's Chopper? Hey, you know you're a Newport Richie when the mayor's name is Chopper. Chopper Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, what a legend. The new participants will complete for two minutes. When they are finished, another wrestler will enter every 60 seconds. Introducing the first participant. Here we go. This is what a lot of the fans are here for tonight is this insane match. Anything can happen. It's so much talent in this massive war that's about to unfold before us. Look at what we got here! Well, oh well, yes. well. Look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, he is WWN's Proving Ground Commissioner, representing the Southern Posse, Rick Sage. Been doing it at a high level, holding tag team gold around the world with his partner, Big Sonny T. I managed the Southern Posse for almost 10 years. Not sure how I survived to tell the story, but here I am. Those are two guys that can scare me to death, Ron. And you see Bill Alfonso shaking his hand at ringside. It's a who's who of professional wrestling here tonight. What a all, great night. They all for a great cause, man. Rick Dames, a big man. Dangerous. Especially with that Bull rope. Glad I'm back here with you. What are we about 20 yards away from the ring? At least. Not sure that's safe enough. We might want to go out in the middle of the parking lot for this one. Look at this. How yeah, about the experience in the ring right now in that ring Just side? Just those two. Got all the referees at ringside. I think we're going to need them. Who is this? Your guess is as good as mine. I swear to you, at least 25 years. Talk about the history between these two, Ron. Bob Cook, recognized in the 90s as one of the most talented wrestlers on the scene. Hell, Mick Foley mentioned him in his first book. If it wasn't for Bob Cook's fear of flying, he would have been a star, but it's true. Not even trying to be funny. He, he wouldn't go much farther than Atlanta. He, he would drive there. Not to mention one of the best right hands in the business. And as blind as a bat on top of it. But yes, all you see if you're on the other end of that is these squinting eyes 
like this giant fist coming straight at you, and then I, your, light, your lights go out. Yeah, you much. wake up the next right. morning in a right. Holiday Inn Express. <laughs> And you didn't even reserve a room at the Holiday Inn Express. Nope. Fonzie blowing that whistle at ringside. Bring back memories of ECW. Why do you talk about experience? Okay, look at this. Just, just this room alone right now, you've got, what, 80 years experience? Well, as far as wrestling, referees, ring announcers, I mean, on it, not being ridiculous, hundreds of hundreds years of, of experience years. At, right there. Bob Cook wearing that Funk you, Terry Funk t-shirt. Huge fan of Terry Funk and Evil Knievel, believe it or not. The guy has one of the biggest Evil Knievel collectibles uh, collection in the entire world and is recognized for it. By the family, actually. Oh, it's unbelievable, yeah. Bob Cook and Rick Thames in the year 2023 locking up collar and elbow. Both students of Malenko School of Professional Wrestling. Going straight to an overhand wrist lock, too. Yeah, it's awesome. That. Wrestlers, wrestling. Who would have thought? The marquee still says wrestling, Ron. Beautiful. These, I love seeing these guys in there still doing their thing. Yeah, these two coming out, I think, is a big reason for what well, Penelope doing. Paradise. She can't. Been out there 30 seconds. She, she's already interjecting herself in the match. She can't help herself. There goes that right hand. Look at her. There goes that. Beautiful. Ball. Just laid in. Penelope had a hell of a feud in the early and mid-90s with Debbie uh, Drake, which later became De Debbie Malenko from, all, uh, from all, J all Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. Yeah, they, for Henry Reigns over in uh, Suncoast Pro over in Manatee uh, County, he used to have great matches. A lot of the Malenko uh, talent started cutting their teeth in that area. You were an encyclopedia. Well, I was lucky enough when I broke in that these, these folks were just getting their legs, you know, and... and the Southern Posse took me under their wing. Penelope, she she helped a lot, but do you want to talk about paying the price? 100%. Tough, tough love. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah, that's, matter, that's the way it was done there. Matter of fact, I got a picture with her and the late Shannon Rose and I together at the Old oh. Public Access Studios wow. back in the day. Very cool. Look at these two guys going at it. I love seeing this, Ronnie. I can't tell you. I can't say it enough. Hearing the whistle, the, the, the whistle blow of Fonzie's there, it's taking me back. Don't Fonzie look better than ever? I saw you talking to him earlier. He's just Looks healthy, great. happy. Yeah. Happiest over, I've ever seen. Moving merchandise to fans look when they see him. What's Penelope up to? Did she just trying to poke Rick and... She's trying to take his eye out. She can't behave herself. She can't. Right in front of the referee, too. He don't care. She doesn't care. She can't jump that high. Nope. She don't have the vertical that I do. When I caught... I, I, I mentioned it earlier. I caught the... Uh, the deal at Jumbo Beretta's wedding when his wife threw the thing out to everybody? The bouquet? No, the, uh, what's it called? The garter belt. I caught it. I jumped over the likes of Joe Malenko, Dean Malenko, and get this, Rico Frederico. Wait a second. I did it. You had me until you said Jump, oh, Jumbo, he, he reminded me earlier. I said, even more surprising, I said, the girl that I was with then, she's still with me. <laughs> that, that in itself is yeah. a feat. Yeah, he shook his head at Not like, feet, feet, but no. actual feet. Yeah, like literally, feet. yeah. Oh, Rick Thames. 10, 9, 8, 7, These guys are six, still going at it, too. 5, 4, Was that the longest three, minute? Are they two, just test? I thought it Well, we're going to... We're going to pace ourselves on this one there. Francisco. We're gonna have to, Ronnie, because there's 30 competitors in this match. Yeah, I thought it was a, I thought it was a battle royal, not a 30 man hour long two minutes in between mayhem. Rick Thames, because he got enough in the tank to go an hour? He might have. Showing that strength. Cooker backed up in the corner. He's smart, he's facing. Oh man, hey, they, the the punishment these guys have you know, taken in their career on their knees and their back. And can you imagine? The shots to the head. How about the toughness of going, yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah, yeah sure, we'll do it. We'll put the boots Ten, on. Again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Another competitor. He is accompanied by Uncle Duck, BC Look at these two. There isn't two good brain chromosomes between them. Anyone coming to the ring wearing a paper plate? 
and then he's one up by the lunatic escorting him to the ring. Top. You want to talk about guys who just aren't good looking? Oh, not at all. I've known I've known Uncle Dop for what is it, twenty something years? He no showed me twice. His dad had died both times. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm reminding you. That cranium of John Strange. Good luck. I don't think he can suffer any more brain damage than what he was, Ten, seems nine, to be born with. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I think they listened to my minute idea. Hey, this crowd would have been dead after an hour. It's hot. Seen this young man on one of the Proving Ground shows and I was really impressed. Look at this, you want to talk about balls. Hey, I think I'll go after Rick Thames as soon as I get there. That's, that's, that's from the book of Bad Ideas. Page one. Hey, you want to make a reputation for yourself? Go after Rick Thames, the gentleman Rick Thames. Second generation wrestler, his father, a wrestler before him. Bob Cook. Hate to use the term while you sit here, but that was a journeyman before you were a journeyman. Literally. Did it all. Ten, nine, eight, Using Rick Thames' full rope. Six, what an animal. Five, four, three, two. Oh, you got it. Here we go. Look at those eyebrows. Look at that face. <laughs> Has absolutely no idea what town he's in, but he heard there's a battle royal of sorts going on. I don't even know. Is he even booked to be here? Guy has to buy clippers every month wearing out the blades. Big clubber and blow. Of course it is. What? You know I know Luke Gallows too. You notice how unsurprised I was by that? The guy loves Paul Lee too. <laughs> hey, yeah, they're trying to end careers this madman. I got scoliosis watching him for the last 45 seconds. Jesus. Ernie of Ernie and Bert fame would be proud of those. Bert, Bert would accuse him of stealing his gimmick. Here we go. Yeah. If he takes the American Giant, throws him two rows deep. Look at John Strange, like trying to chop down a giant redwood. Except for a giant redwood is of higher IQ than the American Giant, but we're not here to win a spelling bee. No, absolutely not, because we, oh, big headbutt. Rick Thames being choked by the American Giant. I refreshingly, refreshingly was just yelled at Sal. It's been at least two weeks since that happened. Ten, nine, we weren't eight, using the mic, obviously. Seven, six, five, or you were four, using the mic and it do not work, so two, now we're both using mine. Look at him. Oh! These are one of the seven, Miami boys. Talk nine, about talent. This kid is somebody to watch. South Florida talent, I've been saying it for 20 something years. Well, I was saying it was non-existent, but that's changed in the last few years. Huge difference makers, Pablo Marquez, Gangrel. So many guys down there trying to help out the talent. Billy Fives as well. Soul Man Alex G. You know, these guys have done everything they can to elevate the talent that's coming out of South Florida. And we've been seeing it at Proving Ground, and it's pretty cool. This kid, I've seen this kid at several seminars at WWN. 
him and his crew, the Miami boys, they are three guys that are definitely, we gotta watch them because in the next 10 years, these kids are gonna be the future. How about we trade the American Giant for all of the Miami boys with South Florida? And his eyebrows. Using the chair. What is Introducing Zach Here we go. Look at this individual. Things are about to get up. It was already weird, but it looks like it's about to get a lot weirder. Talk about flamboyant, but he can back it up, Ron. Hey, you were trained by the exotic Adrian Street. There's none that come more flamboyant, so you know it when you see it. Well, you know how flamboyant I am. Very flamboyant. I was just saying that the other, oh! Flamboyant or not, how about that shot? Unfaced. Thank you, sir. May I have another? A plow, a bluey, nails him. Heavy duty, right? I like what I see here. Really tough kids. And Cooker and Rick Thames are still in the ring. I thought I would have thrown myself over the top rope by now. I would have thrown myself out just to get blown up. This is what I like to see when you're talking about young talent. This kid obviously spending time in the gym. His physique is a priority. He's young, so he's just gonna grow into it. You know, it, it, it seems to be kind of a lost art uh, on, in wrestling, especially on the indie level. Uh, the appearance is just, it's just as important as the technical abilities. Absolutely. It's crazy how many guys don't really get that aspect of it. But look at this kid, he looks like an athlete. He carries himself like an athlete, he is an athlete. Now, I could have carried my entire career based on my boyish good looks, and while you say he's an athlete, I've been referred to as an athletic supporter several times in my career, and I think some of them met it in a different way, but I'm not quite so sure. I, I don't think that's what they meant. What? Ah. Oh. But you've been helping bring this talent up. I mentioned Jay Lethal earlier. I mentioned some of the other guys that are that are doing everything they can on this side of the state. We're gonna have 30 individuals, old and new, in this matchup. Well, you don't talk about the experience that these young guys are gonna get just from this match alone. Again, you can't put a price tag on it. Can I ask why the camera keeps going to the opposite side of where the guys are gonna come out? We've been seeing the Davis brothers literally all night long. It's driving me crazy. I think there's a tilt in the floor. You're a tilt in the floor. John Strange bringing the heavy metal. This has turned into like a, a bunkhouse battle royal. We saw Dave Penzer earlier. I bet you he's ring announced a few of those in his time for the American Dream, the Thero, baby. He's commentated, he's announced Pier 6 Donnie Brooks from here to Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and Christmas, Florida. Nine, eight, seven, Action heating six, up here. Five, Lots of bodies eight, in that ring, man. Three, Two. Looks like a giant car wreck. Good to see the Davis and brothers again. Another graduate of the WWN Training Center, 727-401-2836 if you want to become a professional wrestler. Saw him perform for the first time at one of the Proving Ground shows just last Friday. And to say, I told you afterwards, I was really impressed seeing the young man back earlier tonight that was in that tag match with you that landed on his head that I thought his career was over. Hound Dog Son, seeing him here tonight, I was shocked. There's a there's a lot of great coaches in this state that are bringing up the next the next generation of wrestling superstars, and we're seeing it right here tonight. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It's, for an old timer like me, it's cool to see old friends, some of them getting in there and competing. Uh, but to see the young talent and to see where things are headed, it, it's really cool. The future is so bright that I actually have to wear shades. I see what you did there. You've seen my lenses change in the sunlight, so I'm always wearing shades even when I'm not. We call those progressive lenses. I don't know if I like the looks of this guy. Shy town area, Steve Boz's area, Shy town being Chicago. You're a Windy City wrestling kind of guy. I knew that about you a long time ago, dude. Windy City back in my football days. Never played football and they never called you Windy City. I was a weak side linebacker. The weakest weak side linebacker of all time. What an, what an honor. Hey, John Strange again. We've seen him 
on Proving Ground. We've seen him ACW. We see him out in TCW. Kill. I mentioned Rich Bord Ayala carrying the TCW championship, too. This guy's becoming a belt collector. You're going to need to go get that. Oh, you're going to need a wheelbarrow to carry around the belts pretty soon. Six, five, four, I wonder who else three, is coming out here, Ron. Two, who else could possibly have? With the likes of the names that have come out at this point, it could literally be anybody. Another one of the Miami boys, Ron. Look at these kids. Great looking guys, man. Great shape, great gear. All fired up. But yeah, it's a it's a who's who. Billy Mack could come through there. Freight Train Freddy. Anybody could walk through the curtain. I'd be like, of course they're here. Why not? Well, Chubby MC. Oh, yes. Odetta Fleon. Since I'm doing Dusty Rhodes impersonations to Poland, I think I'll do some of the Odessa Sleon as well. Maybe a nasty Ned Brady? Nasty? Jim Bragg posted a picture with Ned Brady the other day. He just went and saw me. Couldn't believe it, man. Total blast from the past, and he was another one. So good. So good. Years ahead of his time. He would love what, what's going on here tonight, too. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Who do we got? Who's up next? Pull the dice. I can't keep up. I'm just trying to call the action the best I can. It's a effing free for all on the hard cam right now. What, what just happened? Who just came out? Big kick to the side of the head. I like the use of the the chairs and the bull ropes and the cowbells and this and that, but I don't think that we are gonna get any of that. It's like a little bit of a bonus. Oh, it's a Pier Six Donnie but Katie bar the door. Yeah, that was that was easily the best way that you could put it because what else what else do you call it at this point? It's just a it's a brawl, it's a fight, and that's what they like up here in Port Richie. They like a good fight. You ask any married couple on any given night, whether it's a full moon, half moon, quarter moon, they like to fight here in Newport Richie. Have you ever attended a family reunion in, in Ten, Pasco County? Nine, I was married here. Eight, I'm seven, sorry. Six, How's that five, going? Four, Next. Three, two. <laughs> you you got you love getting married here so much that you decided to get divorced here too. Next, the oh look at this guy. And bigger and bigger. And like we mentioned earlier, though, too, that this kid's got the size. He's spending time in the gym. He's going to grow into all this. He's going to tighten up. And he's just coming in here with that attitude of, hey, a fight? Okay, I want in. Going to come in and start dropping bombs. There's, there's arms and legs flying. Look, these kids are on the floor fighting. These guys are they're, they're pulling out all the stops to make a name for themselves right here at WWN. And I guarantee the ones in the back that have been eliminated are still fighting in the back, too. They don't know when to stop. They don't know how to behave themselves. We don't like when guys behave. I'm a long-term misbehavior. I'm not sure that you're aware of that. Oh, I'm aware. So is the federal nine, government, the state eight, of Florida, seven, and other provinces six, best left unmentioned five, at this point. Four, wink, wink. Three, two, Here we go, another competitor being shot out of the cannon. Who could it be? Pete Cannon? Pete Cannon? I said anybody could show up. Look at this international star Krieger. I was very impressed every time I see him. He's not a, not a nice guy, you know. I don't think he's going to be coming to my Friday night poker games anytime soon. But if I'm looking for somebody that I... Maybe I need somebody to vanish. Maybe I need somebody to not walk the same way anymore. He seems like the kind of guy you'd call for services like that. He cooks a good Wiener schnitzel. I'm personally, I'm a little bit more prone to the potato sausage. And he, I heard him talking about those two. I'm not sure if they're native to his foreign land. Is Penelope Paradise still there ringside? Cooker still in there? Speaking of potato sausages. You know what, we should even bring that up here. That's better left unsaid. Hold on. You got to give it to the veterans here tonight, man. I mean, I'm serious. We're joking, but seriously, it's hard to breathe. It's so hot in here. It really is. I haven't, I haven't heard a crowd this hot in a long time, Ron. Probably since you and Acropolypse in that ladder match, IPW days. Instant classic. That's what they still call it. I have a man crush on these guys. I have to admit, I love better together. They're two of my favorite people in the entire world. Here, here, bop, 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 bop. Couldn't 
to explain the better. And you've always been, you've always liked men from Israel a lot better than those not from Israel. And look what we have here. Better together. Better together. They really are better together. Have you ever seen them separate from each other? Not that likable. I don't like it. I don't trust them. Together. Love them. Me too. Rick Thames still at ringside. Sweating profusely, but he's wearing that leather vest. What's he thinking? There's only certain times I like to wear leather anything, and usually then they're chaps. Ask those chaps. <laughs> the very ones. The chair once again. Krieger was about to use the chair. Oh! Yeah, there's, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of bodies. We saw this guy earlier this evening in a tag team match. This kid impressed me. His coach is actually Ray Lloyd Glacier, former WCW star Glacier, is his coach. And it shows here tonight. Great to see Glacier. Look at the crowd. Popping big for this young man. Yeah, I mentioned earlier Glacier, old friend of ours. Good friend that we met through our old uh, legal representative, Jody Peterman, who, who did the best he could to keep us out of jail. Didn't often work, but I still love him for it. It worked out me out of that chicken shack incident. Glacier. Blood runs cold. WCW. Tell you what, the re renewed popularity. I see Glacier's name out there. People want to see the guy. And you know what? When you get to meet him as a fan, Trust me, you're getting your money's worth. The guy's as lovable as you could possibly imagine. And and he still loves the business. Have you ever been accused of being lovable? Not once. Me neither. Here we go. Here we go. Midget Mania. He can't get in. We need step. Somebody give him step. I know how that feels. I seen him on the top rope earlier without a parachute. And I called the safety department immediately. They're right there to the left. The tunnel to towers. There's... They're waiting for him. Man down. Man down. Big chair shot. You know, what, what, what is the most dangerous about these chair shots in a match like this, you don't see it coming. And this... Oh! Case in point, Ron. Case in point. He's seen it coming because he's hitting himself. That's, that's not how you do it. That's how you do it. Another one. Look at this guy. No regard for anybody, not even themselves. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Lining up at it. That five, chair has taken seven, some serious three, abuse. Two, Krieger takes it from him. Waffles him. Oh, look at what we have here. If anybody's gonna win this thing, Ron, it's gonna be him. All right, I'm gonna. All oh, I want to put it all, all my money. On Buckshot Brian Brock. I'm gonna trust you. Every bit of it. We're betting on Brian. Yeah, I I my bookie travels around with me. It works, it works when when I'm winning, it's great. Exactly bookie? Bookie, yeah. Bookie Smith. Distant relative of Newport Mayor Chopper. Where's good old Chopper? There he is, he's at ringside. Good old Chopper. Chopper Davis, keeping an eye on the action. Seven, More guys than we have back there. Five, Are you getting four, in it, Ronnie? Three, Are you gonna get in there? Two. That sounds like a pretty good idea. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. And of course, he's got bagpipes, Darth Vader. Why am I not surprised? I changed the, hey Bookie, I want to put all of my other money on Ralph Bosca. And if it's not too late, I'd like to strike the other bet because I know better. Put all of my money on Ralph Bosca too. Good night, Krieger. Good night. Yeah. Krieger throws a punch that's not even acknowledged by Ralph Bosca, who starts throwing everybody out like he's Andre the Giant in 2023. See you, buddy. Enjoy your trip back to Miami. Turn out the lights, the party's over. Hey, Ralph Mosca actually looking great, man. He, I've seen him in years. Last time I saw him, he was dressed up as Santa Claus running in a circle in St. Pina's about 110 Seven, degrees. That was my birthday party. Eight, he always knew how to throw a party. Six, 
Five, Look at this. Two, I'm actually three, genuinely happy two, to see Ralph Moss in there doing his thing. The first time that those lines has ever been uttered by anybody ever. And never again. Look at this. They just keep coming, Ron. Anybody, anybody surviving, I'm not even going to say remaining, surviving has a chance. But if I ever was told that I would be sitting here calling a match with Brian Brock and Ralph Mosca in it, I would have said, hey, you, you're crazy. Crazy. I wouldn't have believed them. And I'm pretty open-minded. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. What is that, eight guys Ralph Mosca's thrown out so far? I stopped counting. I, a lot of them, they just look at, I think it's the, the input. Look at that, I think he just eliminated himself, Ron. I mentioned earlier this guy has a few screws loose. But I've been wondering if the dark side of the force is being influenced by Darth Vader, who escorted Ralph Mosca to the ring. I see what you did there, Ronnie. See what you did there. Oh! Good God! An Israeli destroyer. A hell of a performance earlier tonight by Drake Xavier. Thought he was going to walk out. The cruiserweight champ, but maybe he walks out winning this huge match. He came within inches of becoming the cruiserweight champion. I'm not sure if I showed you earlier, but it was it was this close. That they they can't see at home, but you can see here. Gotta love this violence right at home here in Pasco County. I'm going through the county here. Okay, we originally had 30. There's like 34 Nine, guys that have come in. Eight, guys have stuck around, seven, didn't go home to get back five, into this match after the match they already had. These guys want it. Two, I'm pretty sure people have walked through the front door and into the ring. Everybody wants it. Look at this. They just keep coming. I like the look at it. It leapfrogs over. Nothing gonna hate reminds me of buddy, my buddy Terrell White. You remember him? Yes, yeah. Oh, but he looks just like him. One of the cooler cats you'll ever come across, and I'm sure this guy is just, just as cool. Love this look. Throwing. Oh! Better together, gone from this fray. Are there any wrestlers remaining that we haven't seen yet? I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I can take much more. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. I'm not sure how our voices are even holding up right now. Ralph Mosca trying to get this young man eliminated. Looks like he's willing to break his fingers if that's what it's going to take. Kicking away at the legs. Finally able to get him out. Well, if anybody knows he's got a matches and a fight, it's Ralph Mosca. Oh, yeah. he's. You, if you ever feel like having really good odds of landing in jail, go out with Ralph Mosca for a night. Here we go, the Brute Ray Elliott, another graduate of the WWN Training Center, 727-401-2836. I was telling you about this kid when I saw him last Friday that I was really impressed. Got my attention, he's big. Got, a, got that mean streak that you need, confident. But he also moves real fluid for his size. Ralph with that eye poke. That'll slow anyone. All it takes is one finger, one finger to the eye to end your night. I call it the great equalizer. I mentioned that earlier. Greco Roman thumb to the eye. One to the eye. That's bad. Two? Oh, you're finished. That's it. Turn out the lights, the party's over, folks. Look at him, he's Ten, done. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. I'm completely 100% out of gas. He is the all in one. What's that book that he's got? That's the book of rules, Ron. It, actually, it's the book of rules. Remember our old friend Honest Eddie Edwards used to carry a rule book? I did. He did some other things too that we can't really speak here on this microphone. Please, please God. I'd say as a family show. This is, it, it goes well past that. Please. Got the book of rules. Two losses, that's at least 600 pounds in that corner going at it, trying to throw each other over the top rope. Are they ever going to clue us in when it's like the last guy so we know we're, you know, okay, we're getting at a home stretch. These are the Ten, last nine, eight, There's Jeff Bradley. Seven, he might go in next. Six, Don't go in there, five, Jeff. Don't, hey, behave 
yourself. How cool. Here we go. Look at this cat. Man, Jeff, I can't believe we just saw Jeff Bradley. What a, what a blast from the past. I love it. The original Dudley Dudley. The original Dudley Dudley. IPW original star. ECW original star. What a great night. Also a former head trainer at the Malenko School of Wrestling, training Jet Jaguar, Tony Mameluke, the Shane brothers, Jeremy Lopez, Chad Collier, among others. What, what a PhD of talent that you just named from Jeff Bradley and, 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 the, and the original Malenko School. He was the last, the very last wrestler actually trained not only by the great Malenko, but Hiro Matsuda. Trained under the wing of both of them, and he was the last. Do that, Ronnie. I don't think I do that at all. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two. I gotta stand up for a minute, man. Are we having, is it, is it 50 wrestlers that are coming in this thing now? You gotta be ribbing me. I think you're gonna be in this thing. That's why I'm standing up. Oh my God. What an insane night. And nobody's leaving. They're still here. They're loving. They're not leaving. They're not going anywhere. They're getting their money's worth and then some, Ron. These fans have had an incredible time tonight. I've had an incredible time. You've had an incredible time. Even Sal's had an incredible time. Oh, I saw her. He, he was kind of not scowling for a few seconds earlier. Kind of not. I wouldn't call it a smile. No. No. It's his, it's his birthday tomorrow. Oh, is he going to be my age or older? What is he going to be? I think he's 61. My God, he doesn't look a day over 62. We got him a cake. He actually did kind of smile with the cake. Nice. That's cool. Here we go. Mr. Frick, I think, is my favorite at this point. I'm still going with Brian Brock. Possibly Ralph I'm not sure they know how to count to 30. They went 30 way by by like 20 minutes ago. Big DDT right in the middle of the ring. I think that's that crazy buccaneer swashbuckler guy. I like swashbucklers. There's a swashbuckler right there. He's buckled all kinds of swashes. I can tell when I see one. You can't fool me, bro. I call him old swashy. Up and over. Look at the strength on display of Buckshot Brian Brock. He's another one. If you value your health, don't ever try to party with that guy. It's as bad as fighting him. I partied with him in Atlanta. I walked out to the hallway. He was peeing in the air conditioner. He's a party actor. Oh yeah, he's he gets it. Elimination. Is that it? Is that Give me my money, Bookie. Bookie. Fonzie up there cheering on Mosca. Almost took the worst bump we could possibly ever imagine. Very good to see Ralph back out. Great to see him healthy. Got Fonzie next to him. Comes back, hey man. Walks into this match and wins it. Who, who would have ever thought it? Ronnie, I've had a blast. You've had a blast. Thank you for having me. Love you. Great night here at WWN. Hey folks, that's it. We're gonna wrap things up. Huge night of wrestling, battle for the brave. I don't know about you, Frankie, but this sure feels like the first of what's gonna be a tradition. Absolutely. Thanks, folks. We'll see you next Sunday. OCC Roadhouse, Full Impact Pro Returns.